During the week, an Air Moldova Airbus A321 took to the skies with a special message. The call sign of the flight was Romeo Echo Lima Alpha X-Ray, and the crew set about tracing a message into the Moldovan skies at 10,000 feet. With a flight track spelling out relax, many made the connection with neighbouring Ukraine and recent rising tensions in the region. What a way to do international diplomacy. Sadly, the real reason for the flight was our old favourite, advertising. The stunt was performed to launch a Moldovan radio station. The real question I have is, how does an Airbus A321 have better penmanship than I do? Let me know in the comments if this Airbus A321 also has better cursive than you. Now to a story actually about the evolving political situation in Ukraine. Both Ukrainian International Airlines and Kiev-based low-cost carrier Bees this week ferried aircraft out of Ukraine. On Monday, Ukraine International said insurance cover had been terminated for some of its aircraft. Five Boeing 737s were ferried to Castellon Airport in Spain on Valentine's Day, with two more heading to Serbia for scheduled maintenance. Bees also faced insurance complications, with the aircraft's lessers not keen to keep their valuable Boeing 737s in the country as tensions rise. All four aircraft in B's fleet have been ferried to Montpellier, France this week. The airline, which began operations in March 2021, asked passengers to be aware of possible delays and schedule changes. Australian startup Bonza revealed its launch route network this week. Backed by alternative investment platform 777 Partners, Bonza is taking a completely different approach to aviation, unseen in Australia. They're following the approach taken by Breeze in the US. The hub-busting approach flies passengers non-stop to smaller destinations for less, rather than forcing them through a hub. The airline's main base will be at Sunshine Coast Airport, which in recent years received a significant upgrade, including a new runway. There's also a planned second hub in Melbourne. 21 of the 25 proposed routes are currently unserved with 16 never having been served by regular public transport operations. For those familiar with Australian geography, you'll note that Sydney, Brisbane and the Gold Coast, three of the top four busiest airports on the East Coast, are not listed. No start date has yet been announced, but the first Boeing 737 MAX delivery is expected in May, with four more to arrive by October. 